um, pivot this to another part of the conversation we wanted to have. Do men want to stay in those traditional roles? Mm, good pivot. Um, I'm a professional. Thank you, though. <laughs> See, now I can't give niggas credit. But <laughs> no, I, I try to give her a compliment. She, you know what I'm saying? I took it. I Whatever. said, wow. Can, can do, do men want to be traditional? <laughs> yeah, I, I, believe, I believe a good number of men want to be traditional. I believe a good uh, number of men want to be traditional. And I think that... Is evident in like how we are. Statistics reco- would show, right? It is right, and then you way. hear men talk. It's like the requirements we're asking from modern women is a, in a traditional sense. Like, am I wrong? On, am I wrong in that? I don't think so. Okay, I don't want to be right. traditional no more. Oh, what you want to be? You want to be modern? I want. I want, I want somebody to get money just like me. And that's in here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want, want to that. be traditional. But no, I don't think that that, that, that mean, I don't think that is the part that's not traditional, right. right? Because nowadays, especially if you're not making six figures yourself, most people need both those incomes. I think the traditional part comes into like the roles in the career. Exactly. It comes into the dynamics right. you have interpersonally with that person. I think that's where the traditional part is starting to show itself because it's like men still want to be men and women want to be soft. Most women want to be softer. Even if she make 250000 a year, she still want to feel like a woman when she come home. We get away from that every day, though. You know what I'm saying? Even shout out Mr. Make It Happen. You be cooking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you be yeah. doing your thing. But listen, so like, we get away but from listen, that though, my girl, aspect. No, but my girl takes so much pride in what she does that she started stepping her shit up, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I cook. I ain't going to hold y'all. And I told Caitlin this. If I end up back on the streets, nigga, that's in my <laughs> in my utility belt. Right. I'm Chef Boyard. All men should know how to cook. You should. Right. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Shit, you should know how to clean too. Shit. Well, you should know how yeah, to do all of those you things. You should. But if you have a woman <laughs> like I do that loves doing those things, she's gonna take that shit. There you go. That's her like, oh, I wanna do that. No, nah, yes. you can cook, but I can cook too. You I should be a well rounded human yeah. being. For sure. Right. <laughs> right. For sure, for sure. But I think that that'd be the problem. That's what we're getting a lot of men out of here because we didn't focus too much on money. So that's what all we focus on is getting a good job and then that's it. Well, then you get in the house, yeah. but then you get in the house and there's other things that a man should be capable of, yeah. but you so focused on making this money. Now you walk in the house because you know, but you know, for, for like just because you make a whole bunch of money, don't mean you're not corny. Don't mean you're not whack. Oh, it definitely doesn't mean no. Oh, none of that shit. Oh, that is you not can have away. the job and go in the house, and she's looking at you like you still you're corny. Wait, 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 but wait, if wait, she's wait, in wait. the house, then she still no. fucked with you being corny. Wait, that's wait, that's wait, hundred. Right. But I need you to say that shit again. What? Having money does not make you less corny. Well, no, <laughs> it does not. It doesn't take away from it. It doesn't erase it. It doesn't, bro. You're still Never the same corny flipped. nigga. Yeah. It amplifies it. <laughs> right. You might have just started dressing right. different. You right. still corny, nigga. Right. It's fucked. Still corny. Real niggas still look at you like a cornflake. Right. Yeah. I don't care if you got I 500 million in there, you still corny. Yeah. Mm. But your your options out here different. Oh, yeah, no, 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 like no, 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 at the end of the I'm day, it don't matter. You're, uh, you could be a cornball, but if I'm right. half a billy, right? Yeah, man, I could be the richest, crazy. corniest, having all the right. bad bitchiness niggas in the world. Right. Vibes, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Actually, could, I could lean into being corny, and people still gonna fuck. Yeah, with yeah, me. you know real. what I'm saying. But well, what do you think, Chris? What uh, me? You married? I'm I'm trending that way. Traditional roles. How you feel like like that works out for you? I think if I'm gonna say anything to add on to what Elliot said, it's just that you gotta take it in the context. Like men, I think to be a man, you have to be of a certain character anyway, and that and that's gonna trickle down through your relationship to the point where you're gonna want to take care of your woman. Yeah, it's just gonna naturally be that way. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna want to do certain things for you naturally, and you're gonna want to take care of her. Mm-hmm. I think that's just. I think it's natural more so than it's traditional. I think there's a lot of tradition that's whack that needs to be filtered out. But on the uh, through all that bullshit, it should still be it still should be men wanting to take care of women and women wanting to do the same for us in their own way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think women these days should lean into their femininity. And I've changed up too, because when we first started potting, I was like anti gender roles and all mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah, you were though. I was big on like, nah, fuck a gender role. Like, yeah. it's certain things I wasn't rocking with. Like, and I, I wouldn't let like my the girl. Toxic nigga. I don't think it's toxic. I think in my, I didn't. <laughs> I think my experiences have changed. Right, like mm-hmm. now I live with somebody. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have a kid with somebody. This is true. And for a house to really work, it need to be some type of structure. There has to be a hierarchy. Your opinion yeah, has a law, and, and, and that don't make any person less or more value. Because if you're talking about hierarchy, the kid is at the bottom of that hierarchy. But who's being yeah. protected the most? Right, the when something happens. Facts, yeah, facts, people facts. hear that word "high," it's like, 
you know, people think of like, oh, you're I'm below you. No, no, Bruh, no. people hear leader just the wrong way. Right. Like if I'm the if I'm the leader of this room and something pop off, I gotta be the first person to go. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I might be the first person to drop. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, stop, chill. It's not leader people <clears throat> take that shit to their ego and feel like leader's just somebody who just points and says, You do this, you do that. No, it's that's not, more of a, a facilitating role. Yeah, I think that goes back to like childhood though. Like we start off like very toxic when it comes to leader leadership. Mm-hmm. Like imagine being the, the line leader in, in kindergarten. People yeah. are jealous of you and when you're the line leader, like people don't want you to be the leader. Right. Like they mad because you leave right, the line. Like, if it's Chris's week to be the Nigga. leader, I'm pissed off. Nigga. I wanted to be the line leader. up and shut exactly, the hell up. Exactly. And then people take <laughs> advantage of those those positions. So now people have a skewed opinion of that for the rest of their life. And you know people what? don't want people don't even want you to cut in in traffic. And then another thing <laughs> as we get into like adulthood and probably especially with women experience this they make the wrong nigga the leader. Oh, and then ooh, it just Oh, and then it Is just, that a gunshot or a bomb drop? It's a bomb. It, wow. And then it just makes them look at leadership a certain way rather than that looking too. at mm-hmm. that man that a certain too. way. Mm-hmm. Look that at too. him. I, I'm always Previous been a fan. Trauma, I've always been a right. fan of um you know what uh, Shorty did in Neo? People was talking about why she do that. I think we should get more into at niggas. If a nigga did you dirty, at that nigga. Yeah, at the nigga. At that nigga. I just don't like if that she nigga did it while he was on a promo run. Oh, well. So <laughs> well. He was on a run. Oh, well. She's like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no think, about it, think about it. Think about it. Did, did, did he really care about his album then? Yes. Yeah. No, he did not. Because yeah, if he going to sit here and prep all this chaos, he's the one that prepped it. Right. By fucking all these bitches. Did you really care about your music then? Maybe, yeah. maybe he did though. Maybe that's where maybe, the inspiration maybe, maybe the for the music them. came yeah, yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Chris! Hey, and right. that's how we eat, right. bitch. At these, at these <laughs> niggas. If niggas do whack shit, at these niggas. And I'm, I'm gonna say it on the other side. At these bitches. If, if she on some hoe shit, call her a hoe. We need to get back into like shaming people. people. No, yes. no, fuck no, fuck that. Yes. No, yes. fuck shaming that. People, fuck that. If you did some corny shit, you did some corny <laughs> shit. Corny. You're not gonna be corny behind closed doors, and we are gonna keep your secret. Right. No, nigga, you corny. I said, call her. I hope. respect that. No, but no, no I, I do, especially from yeah. see. But we I talk have, about. I've blasted ahead, a few niggas on my. Instagram. We talk about that it's all the time. Though, raising the bar, lowering the bar, all those things. So I did. It, it do make sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To at somebody. Mm. It do make sense to kind of like call somebody out when a girl do some corny shit or vice versa, but that's not the that's not the climate we in. Cheating. Hey, I think you, I think it matches it. You want attention? Me? You do you it's want attention? The You're, in. You're gonna get the attention. I don't I mean I'm not talking to nobody, so the only person No, okay, you know what it is though? You know <laughs> what it is though? Yeah, I want to Everybody get wants to be so grimy. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? He wanted to get this. So see bad. my whole fit because I got my dumb ass. He's so uncomfortable with the a. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, you know I coordinated that when I left the crib. All right, you got to coordinate. But anyway, everybody wants to be so grimy to each other, but then go outside and act like you're the like like a saint. Like mm-hmm. that's not how it goes. Yeah. And I dare you to disrespect me that deeply because I'm not the fucking one and I will let everybody know uh, that you're actually a bitch. I'm actually a, I'm actually a fan of that and I actually I, I don't subscribe to sharing relationships had to be a but bitch. if somebody crosses the a line bitch. what's the relationship? You know what I'm saying? There's no longer a relationship to protect if you weren't doing it to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So man nah. Are you yeah. more of a traditional dude? I like to think I'm. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel think, like. You. But I feel like. I feel like. No, I am too. I, I, I switch sides. I, feel like, I, feel I don't like, even know what but, happened. But crazy, I feel like all of us are. But it's yeah. crazy because it gives you such a cookie cutter image. I think we're we not like that. Like, yo, you got to do this. You got to do that. I feel like it's. I'm. I'm I traditional think, when it comes to like protection and yo, I like think my that's role. How people try to paint it though. They try to paint it like because you run your household, you a dictator. And yeah. That's not what it is. Yeah. No. Well, that's, well, are you are you leading it in a dictator way though? But that's but that's not even you? healthy. That's some not a, that's, some some people do like you just going back to what you said. You picking the wrong leaders. Some people take advantage of being the leader. Yeah, no, that. no, that's a hundred. That's a hundred. Yeah, some and people I, misuse that. If you say dictator, that's not a leader to me. I, I feel like she was the over here. I like to put it on <laughs> like I like to put it like on sports. Like say. Your coach is your leader. He knows where to put this certain player yeah. in this certain position. We always too. use the same examples, coaching or like a business, CEO, right? Right. 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 Even if I'm the CEO, that there's still somebody that runs finance, somebody that's running the operation. Right, right. And then they bring all the information to me and we help disseminate and make decisions. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's, I mean, to me, that's, and even when I think of leadership, I don't think about some, like you said, I'm the first one out there when some real shit pop off. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? So, right. Oh, you know I, what I want to add about leadership? Because I feel like even if you are a good dude on the inside and you keep the collective in mind and all that shit, if your delivery is not respectful, I mean, not even like you, 
you know what I'm saying? You are the leader, but you should mm-hmm. respect those that follow you. Yeah. Because they trust you with their whatever the fuck. So you do have to spend some time working on your delivery because everybody's going to think that you're the bad guy, even if you are the good guy. It goes if back all to you're what, doing uh, is, what you know, Dean just, said. You do this, you do that, you do that. Right, right. And then when they don't do it how you like, you're going to get mad or whatever the fuck. Even if the, the, the idea is success for everyone. Right. It goes to what Kadeem said with the coaching. Like, he's a coach, so he knows he can approach player A yeah. a certain way, and he mm-hmm. can't approach player B Everybody don't react to the same shit. Everybody ain't mm-hmm. good coaching. And then when yeah. you apply that to family, <laughs> it, it gets even better because, yo, these are your people. Some people and need all to be of them are different. Like, my wife isn't my youngest. Like, they're both two different people. I can't come at her the same way I come at her. So it's like, it's just, what you're saying is correct, but sometimes you might need to, like, if I had a of son, course. I would be able to be a little more, put a little more bravado on it sometimes. Yeah. A little stern. To get through to him, punch him in his chest, do some shit like that. But yeah. I can't do that with my daughter. No, I just wanted to they add that, that in there because there are a lot of dudes that are good yeah. dudes, but their delivery is so fucked up that everybody thinks they're awful. I or the think- people that are behind them don't want to be behind them no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's okay to be like, um, I don't like where this person's going. He's leading, but I don't like where he's headed. And I'm no, yeah. I'm even if where he's headed is where you want to go. That too. You don't want to be, be under someone where you feel like you're like oppressed or whatever the fuck. Right. 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 Yeah. I'm more likely to go with you willingly if I feel like when you speak to me, we're speaking. No, you want it, but you, know you want saying? it like that. I don't want anybody behind me that don't want to be there. You for know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Why but would I'm you want that? That's how you get for stabbed turnover. In the back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. I think leading is. I think leading is. Fuck all that. You can be leading and you could be by yourself. You could be for leading. Sure. And you could be that by is. yourself, and that's how you get the right followers because people see what. Well, oh shit! Look at this nigga. No, every step right. he takes is right now. It's not what I was saying. Right. But yes. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. It's like. <laughs> I'm we... just saying. Nice. <laughs> that's all I'm trying to say. Really. Same page, but I think one of the things, especially last night when we was recording, right. A lot of it was about the delivery, how you said it, what you said. Like you're saying a lot, instead of you know, and I think with said. men, it's like, bro, what's the results? So, you know, I don't care about. Right. Me yeah. personally, I don't always care about how you say shit. Right. Because yeah. sometimes you can say some shit softly, and it's still like you meant to offend me, bro. Right. It don't matter that <laughs> you said it a mm-hmm. nice way. <laughs> you were yeah. trying to offend. Yeah. That soft shit. That's, that's the meaning. That's what women right. do. Yeah. That's that's what women. women, it's like if you say it kind of harsh, they be like, oh, I ain't like so, the way he said that. We, Kadeem, he said, you're an asshole. See, I said it softly, but. You know what I'm saying? Some still, I, mean, I lean into that. I don't care about. No, no, no. I was being exact. I almost saying this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's that's that, yeah, that like what you yeah. said. Right. I, I hate that. Yeah. No, I hate that shit too. I hate that nice, that nice nasty shit. That's some like girl it, shit. And that's yeah. I hate yeah. it. I that's hate it. That's the That nice nasty shit. I hate it, bro. Yeah. Just because you say you're saying something with a smile does not make it less offensive. Nah, you meant to offend. I think that but, you are really lacking. That you are you are attacking me. Yeah, are. No matter how you <laughs> attacking say it, me. Facts. I think, yeah, I think the most important thing in a relationship is what and how you say it. Doubt. Like if you're gonna be with the person, they should automatically get benefit of the doubt. Like say mm. Caitlyn's yelling at you. Mm-mm. You know this is my woman. This is the person that I chose. She's not yelling for a stupid ass reason. I Let disagree. me figure out why. I was about to say, it depends on what she's yelling for. So, it can definitely. But no, 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 no. But I'm gonna come at you with that one. Because okay. to you, it could be some stupid shit, but if we going uh, through her, no, nah, fuck, man, be clapping fuck for this nigga that. Like if that's the person you chose to be with, then that shit is important. I'm only no, saying, I'm not, I'm not, I feel what you're saying. I agree with that. I'm only saying that is that you said the person you're, you, you should be with, like, mm. has, like, the right benefit to say, of the yeah, doubt. The they should get out. Right for the I think the, the person you, you're with has to build up the credibility first of course. and then get to a part where they get the benefit. Ellie, not I just feel like once y'all okay. crossed over into relationship, I feel like that's no, the, the establishment. But, but, but you that, know people you are not betting their relationships. But, like, but, like, but like you said, people don't show who they fully are until yeah. they get to okay. a certain people status. People don't be betting their relationships. So what you saying is... They take that mask off and they already got the benefit of the doubt. make it to a relationship and then... I'm gonna test you for by giving you that that commitment, giving you that title. Cause right. you know, a lot of us, we're not the same person when we mm-hmm. go to the interview than we are when we clock into the job. Okay. So I'm gonna give you this title mm-hmm. and then we're gonna see how you really act with that power. That's okay. what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. That's what yeah, I agree with so, that. I can agree like with build, that. Like build upon it. Like yeah. if I show you if relationship stuff, if, credit score. Right, exactly. <laughs> wow. if, if, if you start off at a 500 and you you work your way up to a seven a, a 750, cool. Now you can you can buy more shit. You can afford more shit in this no. relationship. Yeah, you can do more things. You can do more that. things without me even checking on you. I, I agree. Okay. I, I, I respect your credit. To negate that, like say your woman is screaming and hollering about whatever the fuck, right? I'm not listening to a that. A lot part. of the time, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Y'all going to stop listening because you're like, honestly, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't scream at me. But to Chris's point, if she has that equity, I guess, 
you have to learn to listen to the feeling. That's what they would tell us yeah, when I was studying to be a counselor. I respect the feeling. You listen to I the agree feeling with it once and you, you have respond, the equity. Exactly. Right. You respond to the feeling, not what she's saying. Because what she's saying might very well not make no damn sense. It doesn't. 100%. But you have to be able to say to her, look, I understand that you're upset because of X, Y, Z. All that other you was talking about, I don't know about that. But I understand you're upset about X, Y, Z. So we can move from there. And that will stop a lot of the hollering. What Very quickly. Understand? It's about it's, and it's also about your woman or your, your man. Like sure. say your man is quiet, right? And he just don't he don't get up and, and he don't let nothing rattle him. Mm-hmm. But that he does it one time. That means that that shit was like it, yeah. big. But to a woman, she'll be like, Why this nigga yelling? He's scaring me, da 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 instead of being like, This is my man. Kunti you know what I'm saying? Doesn't act like let that. me try to figure out, yo, he don't really he don't really he don't cry or snap or nothing like that, mm-hmm. but he's doing it right now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let me figure out why he's doing it. A lot of them. because I care about him. Like that. That I think it's the Kendrick lyric w- about Shorty, and I'm not. Ch- I don't even want to take it in now because it's about cheating. No, go ahead. But she gave him that. Like she at instead of being hurt and striking her ego and all that stuff, she was like, "Yo, are you? Th- is there an addiction?" She cared about him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, I you won't hear, but I played a clip a long, long a minute ago, and I was just basically like. Women will be on your ass about cheating, but they never think about what led you to a show. Right. They yeah. never think about the energy that you was bringing and showing up with that made me even turn and think about some Shoot, other the thing. talks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, all that small shit. That's normally a secondary thought, because the first thought is just emotions. Now, if your man just cheated on off, you and he ain't had no talks with you, he ain't expressed a need, he ain't do nothing, it just happened out of nowhere, then yeah, that's kind of... Well, yeah, yeah if he didn't yeah. say nothing... 